Hi guys, hope you're doing well. I'm just off to the local woods where I'm going to harvest myself some poplar and birch timber to make myself a traditional Sami style cookser. On my way there I came across this fungi. For those of you who don't know it's called cauliflower fungi and this one's quite young. As you can see it's soft to touch. Apparently it is edible. This doesn't look that appetizing and what I would do before ever trying any fungi and utilizing it as a resource for food, I would do some research and check out the toxicity and whether this has been used before by other people and how they cooked it. So stay with us guys as I take you through the different stages of making a traditional Sami cookster. At this point I'm getting rid of all the waste that I know I'm not going to use for sure and I'm trying to find the shape uh, that I'm looking for really. So I'm playing around with this piece of timber after I've revealed the grain uh, and taken all the bark off. There's no definite shape yet, I'm just getting a feel of the wood, uh, I'm looking at it from different angles and um, seeing how the grain falls. idea to get some uh, stencil, uh, some sort of idea of proportion as far as size is concerned. I used a cup that the kids bought me for uh, a stencil and uh, it gives me a rough idea of the uh, circumference and also the depth that I want. shapes coming together so what I'm doing here now is I'm just marking it out because if if I use my silky saw I can uh, cut down the workload as far as the axe is concerned the silky saw will go through this no problem not a problem at all and you can just take your time as you do it I've uh, found a slight hairline um, fault in the uh, in the wood so as you can see here I'm just tapping the wood with the axe at the top and just hoping the wood doesn't split totally. Just working with that fault. safe to take this uh, end piece off so again I'm going to follow the line the fault and as you can see it just comes off nice and easy now if you ever feel like uh, making anything like a cookster or anything like that don't be uh, intimidated by it. This is my first cookser and um, what I'm doing is I'm just taking my time and playing around with the timber. 
I've used axes in the past uh, in the building trade. You can always use a glove to protect the non-working hand in a sense. And just take your time. I'm uh, obviously, this is speeded up and uh, I'm filming so I'm rushing a little bit. But uh, I'm finally getting there. I'm getting a shape together so I'm starting to feel a little bit more confident about the cookser. delicate work I'm um, using this uh, Huntsman Classic 500 gram axe with a nine and a half inch shaft. The larger axe looks like the Huntsman Axe Portaforce also made an axe with a 17 and a half inch shaft. It's still quite heavy for this type of work but it's uh, slightly smaller than the Huntsman. The Huntsman's 20 inches long and weighs in at 850 grams. If you watch one of my recent videos, Two Nights Bushcraft in the Lake District, you'll see the Huntsman in action there. It is really a classic and quality axe. So besides using the Mora Classic, I'm also using two Mora double-edged hub carving tools. So both of these can be used for spoons or bowls. This one has less of a cutting angle and it's the Mora 163S. The other is the 162S. I'm just refining the shape of the uh, cookser. I'm making sure not to uh, into my chest so that it is a controlled action and um, I'm not using too much brute force. Not there, right pain. Yeah, that's pretty deep. Deep enough now, really. What I should do now is just take a bit of this off here, then shape this around here, which is a bit of a bummer because that's on. 
as you can see, knotted there. So that's going to make life a little bit difficult, but I need to even this off here. into the cut in a safe manner as the knife moves away from the body. So now I'll just make a few refinements uh, just on the base here uh, just so it can be seated right and then with the Mora knife I can scrape any lumps and bumps around the walls of the inside of the cookser and smooth them out. I want it to sit right and I want it to feel comfortable in the hand. Oh, perfect, perfect to Mondo. It's a bit sharp. So I'm quite happy with that. What I'll do now is before I smooth it all off and refine it, I'll leave it for a couple of weeks for the moisture to draw out of the uh, wood and then I'll uh, boil it for a bit, then let it dry out and then do all the refinery. But uh, I've got the basic shape, I'm well happy with that. And I hope you guys are happy as well uh, and you found this video useful. Like I say, it's my first attempt at a cookser and uh, guys, give it a go. You never know until you try, that's all I can say. So drop us a line in the comment box if you've got any questions or any comments. Click on the links below and if you've not subscribed, consider subscribing. You'll really help me out if you share the video and obviously subscribe and like and all them good things. And until next time, you take care and I'll see you in the next Hook Fit.